For those of you who don't know, me and Nat go way back. I first met her when I turned zero, and ever since then, she's sort of been my hero. For all the fighting, bickering, and tough love, you've been a big sister that I'm truly proud of. You've taught me how to apply my makeup and how to do my hair. You'll never let me forget you're the boss, and quite frankly, I wouldn't dare. So this leads me on to my beautiful wife, Natalie Harper. From the day we met, you've put a smile on my face, a spring in my step, and filled my heart with love. Important at this point for everyone to know that on the first day we met, Nat was half undressed getting into what can only be described as riot gear to remove some prisoners from an exercise yard. Natalie and Jack, I wish you both happiness and good health for many, many years to come. Remember to love and laugh at each other oh. and have fun. Oh. Ex oh, except man, that, that you special. will have ups and downs <laughs> and one of you may occasionally have a bad day. <laughs> oh, brilliant, mate. first. They both clearly have a strong sense of what is right. They stick by their principles. Jack, where do I start? You know me better than most and putting things in writing and words is not my forte. Telling you how much I love you and how I intend to continue to love you for the rest of my life should come easy because doing it in practice is the easiest job of all. But in reality, where do I start when I have so much to say? From the moment we met, the Barnsley accent and cheeky smile had me. I knew where you were the one for me. Against all odds, I fell for you deeper with every day that passed. And today, I stand here in front of you, promising to continue to love you for the rest of my life. Nah, I promise to stand right by your side through the good times and the bad. You're the best in the world, the most special I've ever had. We'll laugh together and cry together from now until the end, you're my one true love, not even I can pretend. We'll conquer the world, one step at a time, with you at the front and me right behind. I'm not only your husband, but your best friend too. There's nothing we can't handle when I'm with you. Well, Dals, we've done it. Look how far we've come. And I couldn't ask for more, but now it's perfect step. You complete me as a man, and here's my promise to you. I'll love you forever. Jack, I promise to laugh with you in the good times and be right by your side through the bad. I promise to respect and cherish you for as long as I shall live, because you deserve the world and more. May we have many adventures, make new memories, buy our dream house abroad and grow together, remaining as happy as we are now. In love, sickness, hardship and happiness, I will love you throughout it all. Thank you for choosing me, because I choose you. Love you more pronounce you and announce you as husband and wife and to invite you to seal your marriage with a kiss. Sort your differences out quickly. Make the most of your loving family and friends, and ultimately, Jack, if you remember that marriage is a simple union in which one person is always right and the other is you, you'll be fine. Sally and Martin, you're both amazing parents to Nat, and this is shown through her kind heart, easygoing nature, and selfless personality. She's lucky to have such a family around her, and I'm proud to call this woman my wife and be your son-in-law. Finally, it's the best man's responsibility to give some advice to the newlyweds. Well, I can't really give you much relationship advice, but I can relate it to playing sports. Jack, now that you and Natalie are spending your life together, you are once again on a team. And since the last time you were on any team, it was a disaster. 
Here's what you need to remember. Communicate effectively and do not assume. Make sure you understand each other and ask any questions if there's something you're unsure about. Don't just sit on the coat with your thumping ass. <laughs> Always have your teammates back. You and Natalie are on the same team and between you have no doubt you can handle any trouble. And the last one is listen to your captain. Under all circumstances, you should immediately and without question follow the strict instruction of your team captain. And Jack, for the avoidance of now, Natalie is the captain. Natalie explained that Jack makes her feel safe and is just so positive and able to lift her up when she's down and how supportive he is. Jack explained that he simply cannot put it any clearer than to say Natalie completes him and makes him a better person. Chasing the unknown.